Hi everybody, it's Stacey at Lime Pixel. Uh, we're here in Beach House Park today on a chilly December morning. Um, I'm here with Lindsay and we're doing a Lime Pixel 12 Days of Christmas. Um, Lindsay, you're involved with Parents for Autism. Do you want to sort of say a bit about that? Yeah, so um, Parents for Autism was a voluntary organisation that I set up about six years ago. Uh, we are based in Worthing. We have around 500 families that are registered with us in the Worthing and, and the locality. Um, yeah, it's a voluntary organisation. It's run by parent carers, so that's who we are. Yeah, and I've been involved with you for about three or four years, I think. Mm, so yeah. I help Lindsay with the website uh, and any sort of amendments and updates that she needs, then she just lets me know and, and I help with that. So uh, it's, that's been good. I think yeah, it works, really, yeah, well. works yeah. really well. Website good. has created a lot of interest. Good. From all over the country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, sounds like some good opportunities yeah, as well. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Great. Okay, so um, Lindsay's got a, a top tip to share with you. Over to you, Lindsay. So, um, Christmas traditionally, um, obviously for a lot of families, love Christmas, but for families that have got a child with autism or social communication difficulties, they generally find Christmas really, really stressful. Um, children with autism do like their routine. Um, and as you know, Christmas brings lots of different things like sparkly lights, different smells, lots of people. Um, so for a lot of families, Christmas can be quite um, traumatic. So, um, so within Parents for Autism, we purchased some little booklets and they're called My Christmas. And in there, it basically, it helps, it, we, we've given them out to a number of families and it's an opportunity for the child to write or draw pictures and stuff like that about what, what to expect and what they like about Christmas, what, you know, what they don't like and, and just sort of like gradually breaking it down for the family. So um, as I said, you know, we are a voluntary organisation, we don't have huge amounts of money but we purchased 50 of these and they've all been posted out to families that requested a copy so they should be landing on their doorsteps any day now. Brilliant. So if there's anyone out there that feels that they can help support Lindsay and the organisation Parents for Autism, they've got a website, parentsforautism.org, isn't it? .org.uk. .org.uk. Dot, dot yeah. So should I should do that. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Do go and have a look at the website if you can help out in any way or if, if you're a family that needs support then then do get in contact and thank you Lindsay for taking okay. the time to share top tip and uh, and tell everyone about parents autism and uh, yeah, see you. you next time happy Christmas everybody thank bye, you, bye. <laughs>